Shamulian was a very significant director and creative force both on Broadway and in Hollywood, and he is very under-acknowledged. When you begin talking about some of the things he did, uh, Oklahoma, Carousel, and Porgy and Bess, everybody knows those plays, but most people don't realize that he not only directed the premieres of them, but he had a lot to do with shaping the plays and the musicals as we know them today. He was the first filmmaker to have a voiceover. Uh, he f directed the first full-length uh, Technicolor movie. He was probably the first person to develop multi-track recording. He was the director primarily responsible for making uh, motion pictures move again after sound came in because the earliest sound technology was very cumbersome and huge and movies became very static. He had the very, you know, it sounds like an easy idea, put uh, gigantic cameras on wheels and have people push it around so that you could get movement again. He was kind of the editor in some ways of a lot of ideas that uh, George Gershwin had or Rodgers and Hammerstein. He was not a Marxist, he was not a Roman Catholic, he was not a Freudian, he wasn't really any of these things. I wanted to investigate who he was, what he did, and also to look into why he is so overlooked.